Good day. Um, okay. Um, hello and welcome. This is a little bit different for me because I have decided, or rather I've been inspired, to make a weekly vlog. And of course this is the first one and I intend to do many, many more, but only if, of course, you guys enjoy them and want to watch them. So this will kind of be a little peek into my weekly life and I'll do it by days, you know, Monday through to Sunday and then hopefully post on the following Monday um, so that you get a full week of my life. So it is five to one, five to one in the afternoon, that is on a Monday, the 3rd of September 2018. I'm still in my dressing gown and my night clothes, if you can see, uh, and I'm sat outside. The weather, as you can see, is actually a bit cloudy and slightly rainy today, actually. Um, which makes a change because we've been having such good weather and, you know, we're predicted to have a little bit of an Indian summer, as they call it, which means quite a hot autumn. So what's happening today? Well, like I say, I'm going to go in a moment and get myself showered and ready. I've had a little bit of a lie-in, so I've been a little bit lazy this morning, but I am going to go and get myself all done up to my usual standard. I mean, look, I've got, look at this hair. <laughs> oh, I hate flat hair. Um, I will have my usual quiffwood hair the next time you see me. Uh, and then I've, I've already, well I say I've been lazy, I've already pre, kind of pre-made, put together parts of a video, so I'm going to record that video, upload it. Then I'll probably have a late lunch, I'm thinking hummus with my usual grissini breadsticks and tuna. I mix the tuna in with the hummus. And then I plan to do something which I've been talking about for a while in videos and that is I am going to follow my royal recipe and make a Victoria sponge. So I will film that, hopefully upload it today, um, but of course you'll be watching this video um, in a week's time. So you'll have already seen it by now. So hopefully you have enjoyed the Victoria sponge. Hopefully it worked out okay and I didn't fail with it. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go now and get showered and make myself look presentable, make my video, and then I will start filming the Victoria Sponge video. And welcome back. So, it's now five to two in the afternoon on Monday, and I've not had my lunch yet, because obviously, um, as I said, I've had a bit of a lazy morning, I had a lie-in, um, I sort of part pre-made a video, I've still got to record the voiceover on that, that's about the Duke of Kent. So I'm sure you'll have all seen that by the time this goes out, so I hope you've enjoyed it. And I've not had any lunch, so I'm going to make some lunch. And I make this quite a lot, so I thought I'd show you. Um, it's really, really quick. I like really, really quick and easy lunches to prepare. I am not a master chef. Um, by the way, we're not actually in my kitchen. We are in my parents' kitchen. And for those of you who don't know, some of you might know, but for those of you who don't, I actually live right next door to my parents. So I'm going to be using their kitchen because this is where I'm going to be filming the making of the Victoria sponge. And the reason why I'm filming it here and not in my own kitchen is because take a look at that oven. It's a royal recipe and that is an arga. And I think that this royal recipe deserves a really good quality cooker. So I shall be using my mother's arga to make the Victoria sponge. But while I'm here, I may as well show you what I have, you know, most days for lunch. It's really quick, it's really easy, and I'll show you how I do it my way. I, I have no idea if other people do this, but um, anyway, I have hummus, and this is red roasted pepper hummus. It's from my local supermarket, which is Sainsbury's, but I'm sure you can get this anywhere. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Sainsbury's. It's just literally where I shop, so. These are the ingredients that I have. Um, oh poo, it's out of date. Ooh, rewind. Okay. <laughs> the hummus is out of date, which means I'm not having lunch. Hey, I have just noticed something really, really bad, which means I'm not getting any lunch today. Well, at least I'm not gonna have what I planned and I'm not gonna be able to show you guys what I planned because this, the hummus, is out of date. It went out of date on the 1st of September, and this is now the 3rd. Um, and I don't really think you can eat out of date hummus. It says use by, I mean, a best, if it was a best before date, then it just means the quality has slightly diminished. 
but you can, it's still okay within a reasonable amount of time. But a used by date means I should have used this. <laughs> so I've let the hummus go out of date. This is now going to go in the bin, which is a terrible shame. I hate wasting food, but I did not know that that was out of date. I thought it was in date. In fact, I thought the date was something along the line of the fifth. So I'm not going to be able to show you how I make my hummus and tuna with my grissini breadsticks, but I promise I will show you that another time. So I'm going to go now and I am going to, I don't know, make some toast and I'll have some jam on toast or something like that for my lunch. And then I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to set up ready to make and film the Victoria sponge video. Hi everyone. Um, I'm taking a break obviously from making the cake. It's in the oven and I'm not going to include this little video clip in the actual Victoria Sponge video. But I just wanted to share with you in the weekly vlog, because of course this is behind the scenes, behind the throne, I'm worried about this cake. I don't know how it's going to come out. And I'm just worried about the whole thing. In fact, I'm so worried that I think I may even have to redo it completely. But we'll see. As they say, the proof is in the pudding. Okay, so disaster has struck. And um, the cake didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to, or rather attempt one. Uh, there is going to have to be an attempt two, which I will do either tomorrow or in a few days' time. I do know, I think, what went wrong with this attempt. Um, I don't think I creamed the butter quite enough, because the cake kind of ended up a lot thinner than what it looks in the picture. In fact, it's really, really thin. I, it looks nice. It looks, you know, it, it went totally golden brown. In fact, I'll show you. Um, I did add the buttercream and the jam. It is a finished cake, but it's not one that I particularly want to include in a video on how to make a Victoria sponge. So, um, I'll just go and show you what happened. Um, first of all, there is the cake. It looks very golden brown. And I added the buttercream and the jam, and it actually looks okay. It's just really really thin, almost pancake thin. Um, and as I say, I think, well actually, let me show you. Um, this is what it looks like in the book. Um, as you can see, look at the thickness of that cake. And look at that one. Um, it just looks like a very miniature version. So it's just not quite right. I am still gonna eat it. It, I, it looks and feels really, really good. It's just not quite what I had in mind to present as a Victoria sponge. I think what happened was I didn't cream the sugar and the butter together enough. And then when I added the eggs, it kind of, the mixture split a little bit. And although I stirred most of the split out, I don't think it ever completely goes away once it's split. So I'm gonna try again and see what happens. And also, I looked up why cakes split. And it could also be to do with the temperature of the butter and the eggs. Because I didn't have the eggs at room temperature, I took them straight out of the fridge. Although I did pre-soften the butter by leaving it out for a couple of hours. So I think when they went together, the two different temperatures, I think disaster just happened and they curdled. Actually, what am I doing tonight? Um, you see, I'm trying to be a good vlogger and tell you what I actually do. This is supposed to be kind of a slice of British life. Normally have a takeaway every Monday. It's, we either have a KFC, it's very naughty, or a McDonald's or something like that, because obviously, because then neither of us has to cook on a Monday. So we'll probably have a takeaway and then we watch television of an evening. And one of the programs I'm really looking forward to tonight is Fake or Fortune. And it's a program where they investigate art to see if something is fake or it's real. And the person obviously has a fortune. An evening of telly. And of course, we watch YouTube videos too. Hello and welcome to Tuesday. Um, welcome back. So it is roughly 10 o'clock a.m. in the morning on Tuesday and I am outside in my garden. I always take a walk in the garden every morning as long as I'm up early enough. But look at the weather. It's raining. Look at the sky. So I'm out here. I still have my sunglasses on because it's still quite bright here in the UK, even though the sky is really dull and it's very drizzly. But I'm outside enjoying my cup of tea, which you can see, which I've just popped over there. 
outside like I do every single morning. So the plan for today, well, it's Tuesday and certain things always happen on a Tuesday in my household. It's food shopping day, so I always go food shopping with my partner, but that's in the afternoon. And we always have visitors, my partner's family, visit on a Tuesday, every alternate Tuesday. And it's our turn this week to host, so I should be doing a little bit of light cleaning. Of course, the house isn't ever that dirty, but when we have guests, I like to make sure everything is in tip-top condition, so I'll be doing some cleaning. We'll be going shopping to the supermarket later, but also, as you know, <laughs> As you know from watching this video, I had a little bit of a culinary disaster day yesterday. My Victoria sponge was a complete flop. I think I know what went wrong, so I'm gonna to have to refilm that. It won't be today, I'll probably refilm it tomorrow. I still have enough ingredients, so that's okay. And also my hummus was off, so I didn't have a proper lunch. So I think in a moment, once I finish my tea, I am going to go and get myself ready, washed and showered, and then, I am going to go to the supermarket, which I'll be returning to again later, so I'll be going twice today, and I'll have to get myself something for lunch. Oh, who is this handsome boy? Can you see him? It's Rory. Hello, Rory. How are you doing? Shall we do a selfie? Hello. Hello, Rory. Oh, hello, Dad. Oh, it's a bit wet and I'm a little bit soggy. Oh, don't worry, Rory. I'll dry you off with a towel later. Yeah, who's that pretty boy there? Mwah, give me kisses. Um, I don't want wet kisses. Oh, are you t tickling the gargoyle? <laughs> okay, that's Rory. Um, Molly. Molly is over here in the greenhouse. Shall we go find her? Let's have a look. Um, she's being sensible. Rory's outside getting himself all soggy. Whilst Molly is very sensible, she's in the greenhouse. Look. I'll try and turn the camera around. Can you see her? She's on the stool. Look. There she is, on the stool, in the greenhouse, where it's nice and dry. Very sensible girl. Um, so yeah, my cucumbers are now over, so I chopped them down. Uh, they're all finished for the season, and uh, we still have a few tomatoes um, ripening up there, but it will soon be time for all of them to come out and wrap up for the winter. So yes, this is me having my normal morning stroll um, around the garden, which I enjoy in all weathers, including snow, if you've seen my, my snow video that I made from, oh, I think it was, was it November? I did one in November, one in December, maybe? I can't remember when. Oh, by the way, my roses, look. They've come back because, of course, they do have a little bit of a rest period and then they, they come back. So I have lots of buds on my roses. They are flowering and they smell gorgeous. But I've got to show you this one because this one is simply stunning. Look. Look at the bloom. Wow, can you see it? And it smells intense and gorgeous. I do love my roses and also these have been remarkably good too. Nemesias, they're Nemesias and they have been really really amazing and I think this one is called Banana Split. Okay so I wanted to tell you about last night's disaster. Now okay don't be disgusted it is not what it looks like. All is not what it seems. Now remember yesterday I said that we normally go for a takeaway on a Monday evening. Well, we did, and we went for a KFC. And we had a little bit of a disaster because what we didn't realize was that the assistant in KFC put the gravy pot upside down. The filthy beggars in the bag. So of course, I'm handed the bag through the window. I put the bag on the floor. I'm holding the drinks cups on my lap all the way home. I get out of the car. I walk across the gravel and the bottom of the bag drops out and an empty gravy pot drops onto the gravel. And we think, oh no, where is the rest of the gravy? Where, where is all the gravy gone? Well, as you can see, it's gone on the car mat. So I am gonna have to scrub that a little bit later. Ugh.
the dirty devils. Hello, so I am about to head out to the supermarket to get some food shopping for myself and I'll, of course I'll be heading back there again later so that's twice in one day. I'm also going to call and book a hair appointment because I think um, this hair is getting a bit long and needs fixing. And also this is the first time in many many months I've actually had to wear my coat because it's actually gone a bit cold. Um, so I will see you later and I'll show you what I've bought. Right, so what did I buy? I got some caramelised onion hummus and some roasted red pepper hummus in date look. <laughs> so I've got plenty of life on those. So I'll show you myself making my lunch with those soon. I also bought for today a peppered steak and potato slice and a southern fried chicken fillet in a bun with mayonnaise. And look, I was very, very naughty with five raspberry donuts. Um, I'm in my car because I've just had my hair done. Look, well, hey, look at that new hair. <gasps> what? Who is she? I felt like I needed a haircut and I rang up and they managed to squeeze me in. Um, I've got a really great hairdresser and uh, yeah, look, wow. Um, so I'm going to go home now and I've still got time to do my shopping and then it's visiting. And by the way, I've done all the cleaning as well. So I've had a very busy day and I may even try and squeeze in making and posting a video. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are today at the Well Child Award and Prince Edward has been out and about too so I'm hoping that there is lots of material to use to make a video for those. So I will catch up with you later. So I'm back outside, uh, back from the hairdressers and we have Molly joining us. Hello Molly. Say hello to the camera. Hello, it is Wednesday the 5th of September 2018. I hope, by the way, that you're all enjoying this daily vlogging that I'm trying to do. I have no idea if I'm a good vlogger or not, but anyway. So what happened last night? I didn't get a time to check back in with you guys. I was really, really busy. I finished up doing a little bit of extra cleaning. I went shopping to the supermarket and we got all of our stuff for the week. Then we had our visitors, and then, of course, Harry and Meghan attended the Well Child Awards, and it's Meghan's first time, so I was very, very busy. I didn't have much time to really make the videos. I kind of just put all the footage together and all the clips, and out it went. So this morning, before I'm filming this, I put together an all moments video of that so hopefully you enjoyed all, all of that and today of course I have extra videos planned so it's busy 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 I'm still in my jammers again so I have my cup of tea in fact actually this is my Liberty of London cup by Emma Bridgewater and Liberty is a really famous department store in London it's really oldie worldy and it has really interesting different types of things so this is my Liberty cup and I've got my lovely tea inside Oh, Molly's here. Hello, Molly. Are you coming up? Hello, Molly. Molly's joining us this morning for our little cup of tea on the terrace. Yes. Um, I quite agree with you, Molly. Um, and it's sunny again. Look. Look at the sun. Can you see? Um, yes, it's sunny again in Shropshire, so I'm very, very happy. I'm going to enjoy my cup of tea, and then I shall be getting myself all ready. And I do need to go and check my P.O. box address to see if there's anything in there but I think I've missed the time slot so that might have to be tomorrow. Ah! Oh. Hey Molly. What you doing? Hello. Are you sunning yourself on the patio? You are. Are you being a topsy-turvy? Look. Look at that little dummy dummy. Oh look. Wow. You're sunbathing. Gorgeous. Look at that shiny fur. Yes, where's Rory? Has he gone off with Brian again? By the way, Brian is Rory's friend. They are almost identical in looks, but they know each other from across the gardens. It's the neighbour's cat. And yes, Brian is Rory's friend and they call for each other and they go off to play. Oh yes, look, glorious dusty bath. Oh. I wish I could have a dusty bath. Well, just look at the life of Riley. Do you think they're relaxed? Hello, Rory. What's going on here? 
Rory, stop trying to get her tail. Hello, it is Wednesday. Welcome to Wednesday. And today I am up fairly early for me. I still haven't got into um, a really good routine. But anyway, I'm up and today I am taking my grandmother shopping because my parents are away. They're on holiday. They're in Spain. They keep sending me back wonderful messages that they're on the beach and the weather's really nice. And as you can see, the weather is still not really good in the UK. I'm taking my grandmother shopping. I will try and get some kind of footage from inside the shop so you can see a British supermarket. This is some of the shopping for my nan. So we've got her red top milk, six pints. We have her man-sized tissues. And I bought some wallflowers for the garden, which are only three pounds. So that's an amazing price. So I just had to pick up those. And I also got some bleach for my nan. It's, it's all her shopping totally. And of course her cat food, perfect fit. So let's walk down this aisle. You're actually on top of my trolley. So I'm really, really sorry if there are some jiggly wavy movements. We're going down the washing up aisle. Okay, let's turn the corner. I won't film all of it. I'll probably do quite a lot of cutting in the edit. But yes, this is Sainsbury's supermarket inside Sainsbury's supermarket where I live. As you can see, lots of great offers and deals are going down in this store. What would you buy? Let me know in the comments section. What would you buy that you can see, if indeed you can make out anything at all? So this is where I buy lots of my beauty products from. It's where I get my deodorant from. So let's go and have a look now to see if they have a deodorant. Oh, I think they do. Ah, they do. Invisible ice. Where's my invisible ice? Okay. I always have the invisible ice because that is the best. And it doesn't leave white marks, which is really, really good. Okay, let's go down here. And I've got to pick up my Sanex for really sensitive skin, hypoallergenic. Get in my trolley. Okay, time to get some mash. I always have the cheddar mash because it is extra tasty. You are getting in my trolley. There you go. Okay, and on we go to the hot food section. And this is where I get my chicken fillet in a bap from um, with mayonnaise. So it's in here. And I also get some pastries and other kinds of things as well from here. Let's have a good look. Oh, there they are, some hot sausage rolls. Oh, amazing. Okay, so I'm home. Um, I finished taking my nan shopping and I'm just going to go and have my lunch. I bought a cheese and onion slice and a southern fried chicken fillet in a bath with some mayonnaise. So I'm going to go and enjoy that now and then I'm going to go to work on some royal videos. Hello, it is Friday and I wanted to update you. I didn't really get much chance to do much talking um, last night to do any catch up, but I'm hoping Molly's in shot. I can't really see because it's really silly. Um, okay, she's just gone. I'm going to follow her around and for a good reason, I'll tell you in a moment. Yeah, we had a little bit of, a bit of drama. We had, here she is. It's quite windy over there, so I'll come back over here. Yes, we had a little bit of drama yesterday. Um, around about three o'clock, Molly was sick and it was all of the biscuits that she'd eaten, she was really, really sick. And there was lots of like mucusy stuff in the sick. So I cleaned it all up and she went outside. And then she came back in about an hour later and she was sick again, but really violent. Well, you know how, you know how cats are sick, like you know how they go, oh, what, 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 what? But it was all that. It was really, really straining, and it was all mucusy and clear, and there was lots of fluid in it. But also, she'd strained herself so much that there were two. And this is going to sound really gross, but there was two little tiny hard pieces of feces that came out. And so I cleaned them all up, and she went outside again. And then she came back, and she was again violently, violently sick 
all this sort of clear mucusy stuff. And then she kept straining as if she wanted to go to the toilet, but she couldn't. And she did that all night. Um, and then we sort of brought her in and we got the cat litter tray out. And again, she was in there loads of times. She was straining, couldn't do anything. And we missed the time slot for the vets because she wasn't presenting these problems um, until after we had a chance to work out that she probably needed to go and see a vet. But then she perked up in the night time before bed. So again, we left her um, and, and she was nice and calm and peaceful. And then obviously I woke up in the morning and checked on her and she perked up a bit. She was, um, you know, her tail wasn't down. She was running around a bit more. And as you can just see, she's been outside, but she still hasn't gone to the toilet. We still think she's very badly constipated. So I'm gonna wait a few hours and see if she goes. I'm going to follow her around outside, which is why I let her out, just to see if she'd rather go to the toilet outside like she normally does, because I only put the cat litter tray inside if ever it's bad weather. So I'm hoping that she'll want to go naturally outside. So I'm gonna follow her around. I'm on Molly Toilet Watch with my cup of tea, uh, and I'll check back in with you later. Okay, I found Molly. So in herself, she seems a lot better. I mean, she was not like this at all yesterday. Her tail was down and almost between her tail, she looked a little bit bedraggled as cats often do when they're a bit poorly. Um, she's now she's now purring and meowing and rubbing herself and bunting. I think she might be getting a bit better, but like I say, I still don't think she's been to the toilet. So I'm gonna follow her around and see what goes on. Never have I wanted a cat to defecate more. Okay, so Molly's in her toilet bush now. I'm not sure if you can hear her. Um, but she's been doing quite a bit of scratching, so that's a good sign that she's trying to go. Um, I haven't heard any noises of pain while she's been trying to do anything. So again, that's another good sign. But because it's in the middle, well, her toilet is in the middle of a big bush. I think it's a big azalea bush. And I don't know how I'm going to go and check now. But she's still, has she come out? I'm not sure if she's come out now. Let's go and find out. Let's go on a molly hunt. Oh, there, she's drinking. Okay. Okay, so she's drinking. Yeah, that's always a good sign, isn't it? So she's drinking. She does prefer to drink outside. She does like to use the bird bath, and we have several of them. And I did fill that up with rainwater yesterday. Her favourite is rainwater. Oh, she's having a drink. I think that's a good sign. Um, I think I've just got to keep looking out for any sickness. Hopefully she's actually been to the toilet. I'm going to have to go and investigate, aren't I? Wish me luck. Hoorah! I see poop. Yay! Um, okay, so I've just... I can't get in the bush. It's um, it's too overgrown. Um, but I did slightly lift her tail and have a little look, as you do, as all parents, as all good daddies do. Um, I had a little look, and as you can see, she's cleaning herself now, can you see? There was a little bit of diarrhoea loose stool feces on her bottom. But that's a good sign, so I was really, really happy. Um, so now she's cleaning herself off. There is movement. She seems to be feeling better in herself. So I'm just going to monitor this situation, keep an eye on it, and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're on the mend. Woohoo! Okay, let's walk and talk. Um, <laughs> I'm outside, it's raining, it's Saturday morning, and I've just got back from taking Molly to the vet, so I'm really sorry I didn't film. It was a bit of a panicked moment. Um, she wasn't any better this morning when I woke up, and it looked like she was still really, really straining with the toilet. Again, her bottom looked really, really sore. So I just phoned up really, really quickly the vets, and luckily uh, they are open on a Saturday, and they managed to get me in literally 20 minutes after I phoned, so I rushed around, got myself ready, I had a bit of a game trying to get Molly into her cat box. She did not want to go in the cat box whatsoever, but eventually I did get her in and I put her in the car and we went off. Uh, the vet had a look at her bottom and I told her the whole tale <laughs> about why she was feeling not very well. And she gave, she put this kind of, basically she put lube up her bottom and did a bit of massage again nothing came out she put this um 
I suppose it's a bit like um, a bit like a prod, um, a little instrument that kind of could see what was up there, or rather feel what was up there. And she said it felt like there was something really hard, really impacted, and she would have to give her an enema. So um, I waited, and she put this fluid or gel or something up her bottom. Again, that didn't move anything. So she said, we're going to have to keep her in, and we may have to give her some kind of sedation to try and remove it if she doesn't pass, obviously, today. So that's where we're at now. Molly is in the vets, she's being kept in. They're gonna try everything they can to remove it without sedation, which is what I want. Um, it's definitely what I'd prefer. But if they need to, they will do a procedure and try and remove the blockage. Again, we still don't know what's caused it. Maybe it's her age, she is nine years old. Maybe I need to change the food. I mean, she does only eat dry biscuits, so maybe need to introduce some more wet food into the diet. It could have been something that she ate outside. I mean, as you can see, if I move the umbrella, uh, we do live um, with a woodland at the rear, so we have lots and lots and lots of animals and creatures that she can catch, and we don't know what she's eating when she's outside. So, that's where we're at. I'm waiting on a phone call to see what's happening, if I can collect Molly. It was heartbreaking having to leave her and say goodbye, and she was meowing in the car on the way. Ugh. It's heartbreaking. Um, this is the moment when you really do feel like a dad. Um, you know, this is when you you know what it would be like to have children, probably ten times worse. So yes, that's where I'm at. Um, and of course, I will check back in with you later. I've still uh, got commitments to do today, even though I'm waiting. I've, I'm going to go and see my nan. I'm going to go and get her her fish and chips like she normally has on a Saturday. Fetch her the paper. So. Busy, 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 and I'm, I'm worried about Molly, my poor baby girl, but I'll check back with you later. Can you hear the church bells pealing? So we have um, our local church, which I was christened in, uh, on the other side of the mount over there. And every now and again when there's a wedding or a special occasion or whatever, they ring the church bells. And it's always lovely to hear. And one particular special reason, because both of my grandparents are buried in the churchyard. Um, they were cremated, it was a cremation, but they're both in that churchyard. And whenever I hear the bells, or I hear the, the clock um, ring the hour, a bell goes off every hour, um, I always can stand in the garden and think of them. So it's really lovely to hear the bells. And also today, of course, I'm thinking about my baby girl, Molly. I've still not had the phone call. Um, so I hope you're okay, Molly. Mwah. Okay, while we're outside, I just wanted to show you these amazing, beautiful roses. Look at the colour. They are absolutely stunning. Just look. They are David Austin roses, and I forget which one, which type they are. But just look, isn't that stunning? You know what these are called. These are Jude the Obscure, and they are absolutely gorgeous. Look. And there's a lovely, pretty pink one right here too. Okay, Rory has not left me alone. He's been really, really fussy ever since... Molly has gone to the vets and not returned. Yeah, I think he's missing his little sister. They aren't real brother and sister, obviously, but uh, we call them brother and sister. And look, he's looking for her through the window. Oh, Rory, she'll be back soon, once they've sorted out her little problem. Um, I know, she'll be back soon. Yeah, she'll be back. He's a good boy. I know, she'll be back soon. Okay, Molly's home. I've just collected her from the vets and I'm going to let her out. Okay, you're free. Oh, the vet said she was very, very nervous and scared. So I rushed over to get her and she's out. And they've removed the blockage. Yay, Molly. She's got loads of medicines to have and I'll, I'll show you the medicines. But she's out, Molly, you're home. Hello. Oh. Oh, are you sore? Okay. Hello. You're back. 
You can set. Oh, look at the back end. Look, it's all wet. Oh. Oh, sweetie. Look at your back end. Come here. Come on. You're back home now. Are you purring? She's purring. Oh. Daddy was so worried. I've been so worried about you. Oh, I'm so happy you're home. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Oh, Daddy's so happy nothing happened to you. Oh. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, you look so sore. Look. Oh. At least it's all gone. No. Where you go? Come on. Hey, sweetie. I've got to get you some different food, haven't I? I'll tell everyone what the vets have done in a moment, but I'm just loving having you home. Yay. Okay. Right, um, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to get Molly settled, and I'll check back with you later. Oh, it looks you're doing a tumble. <laughs> See you guys later. She's literally spent the last 15 minutes just cleaning herself up, sorting out all that mess that was on the back end. Um, she's almost done. In fact, I would say you're pretty much done, Mrs. Go, Mum. Do you want to go and have a sit down on the blanket? Do you want me to get you a nice comfy blanket ready? I think she's totally engrossed in making sure that she's thoroughly clean, because of course, Molly is a lady. We've made you a little nest, haven't we? Molly loves to pour. Anything soft. Can you hear a purring? Well, after all of that, I have treated myself to a vanilla slice and I'm going to have that with a cup of tea. Welcome to Sunday in the weekly vlog. The weekly vlog is almost over. I have to say, I've really, really enjoyed doing it. You are joining me in my greenhouse. Now, the greenhouse is getting a little bit overgrown now. It's coming to the end of the season, as you can tell from those tomatoes. I've already taken out the cucumbers. They're all done. Uh, we still have a few tomatoes going on there. So I shall carry on watering those and see if we can get some final crops off those. Um, Rory is with me in the greenhouse, can you see? He likes to sleep in one of the trays. So he is relaxing, as you do if you are a cat in a greenhouse. I just wanted to update you a little bit on Molly. I've been trying to give her her medication. The last time she had medication, she used to take it from the syringe and she really enjoyed it. She thought it was almost like a treat. This time, not so much, and she's only eating tuna. She'll walk into the room and just demand tuna. She'll meow at me, demanding tuna. So I think I've spoiled her while she's been ill, and literally all she will eat is tuna. So I'm having to squirt the medication onto the tuna so that she will eat it. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I will give you a run-through on what the medication is in a moment. We'll do a little kitty drugs haul, shall we? That'll be fun, um, and I'll show you everything what the vet gave me. But also, I wanted to mention, because of all the kitty debacles that have been going on this week, I haven't made my Victoria Sponge. So earlier in the video, when I said you probably already watched the Victoria Sponge video, you haven't, because I haven't even made the Victoria Sponge yet, or rather, remade the Victoria Sponge. So I am going to do that in the week. Um, sometime in the week because I just haven't had time. It's just been a nightmare trying to sort out Molly and all the rest of it. She has a checkup tomorrow at the vet, so I will be taking you along for that. And that will feature in next week's weekly vlog, providing, of course, you actually want more weekly vlogs. My parents are back from holiday tomorrow too. And of course, I'm planning making lots more royal videos. The royals will be even more increasingly back to work, so there'll be tons of engagements to report on and bring to you. I've still got to make the Buckingham Palace Lego set. I've still got a box to open, which I teased you about, so I need to open that box. And also, I've got, if you watch my live chat, I was gifted through my Amazon wish list some American sweets, some American candy. So I still need to do a British guy tries American candy. So that will be um, a really good video. So I've got lots to do in the coming week. It'll be busy, busy, busy. But the most important thing is that Molly is feeling a lot better. And before this video finishes, I will do an update on Molly. 
Okay, here we have Molly sleeping, as you can see. Um, she's feeling quite tired at the moment, and it may be because of the medication she's on. So the vet gave me an emergency enema. So if I do need to give Molly an enema, and um, there it is, and I'm assured that you cannot insert it too far. I also have some uh, My Pet Meloxade 0.5 milligrams oral suspension for cats. And this one she has once a day with food. And the weight I have to administer it to is three kilograms. This one is Lactulose solution. And this one I have to administer all the way up to the top, can you see? Um, up to one milliliter, and that is twice a day with food. She's normally pretty good about just sort of taking it um, orally, but like I say, today I have had to put it on the food. So there we have it, our first little kitty drugs haul. Hello and welcome to the final part of this week's vlog, this week's weekly vlog, and I have really, really, really enjoyed making this day-by-day -day account of my life behind the throne for you guys to share because I really really do enjoy sharing my life with you guys. If you have enjoyed watching it as much as I have enjoyed making it then please leave me a comment if you would like to see more. And I have to say I really didn't expect things to go the way that they went with the whole Molly situation. This really is unscripted real life and I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank you for letting me be a part of your world because you are a part of mine. Look at this trove, treasures untold How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around, who you think? Sure, he's got everything I've got gadgets and gizmos of plenty I've got who's it and what's it galore You wanna think of my bus? I've got twenty But who cares? No big deal I Wanna see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. <laughs> Flipping your things, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down a, what's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day. I could be part of that world What would I give if I could live out of these waters What would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand Bet you're on land they understand that they don't reprimand their daughters Right young women Sick of swimming, ready to stand and ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it, what's the word, burn? When's it my turn? Wouldn't I love, love to explore that shore of Wish I could be